Yeah, that's nice. Somebody on Twitter liked this. That's so funny. <clears throat> Abba Namaste, guys. Christian Arlong, Life Enhancement Consultant, sharing a little bit of love with you on this Wednesday afternoon. Jennifer, Abba Namaste. Dusty, Abba Namaste. Amy, Abba Namaste. Caustic, Abba Namaste. Christy, Abba Namaste. Steve, Abba Namaste. Edith, thank you so much for your wonderful, warm message. <laughs> Woo! I don't know about you guys, dancing is definitely one of my jams. When I was in college, I went to Springfield College in Springfield, Massachusetts, and my minor was dance, and enjoyed it so much. Body wasn't built for ballet, started that too late in life, so I went into modern, and then modern was just like my jam, and then I did some salsa dancing, contra dancing, and it just like, it's totally and utterly a flow activity for me. So. Thank you for uh, for sharing in the happiness and the joy of that. And I thought I'd let my hair down today and uh, connect with you guys. And so last Saturday, I was doing a live stream and I only had a few percentage points left on my phone before it went before it went down. Right. So <clears throat> I didn't get the, a chance to cover the entire topic that I thought, well, why not cover this topic now? Now is as good as time as any other. Now, keep in mind, everything that I'm sharing with you guys on the live streams on Facebook, streams on Periscope, the newsletter that I put out every single Wednesday night, which you go below this video, you'll actually see that newsletter with a picture of my teacher, Grandmaster Cho Kuksui. All credit goes to my teacher. Without his teachings, without his blessings, without his insight and guidance, my ability to share this information with you to hopefully transform your life from the inside out would be impossible. So all credit to my teacher, and I'm extremely grateful and honored that I get to share his work in this soul's body in the capacity that I can. So one of the greatest teachings that Master Choa made simple, he made simple and digestible for the masses, he came out with what is known as the I am the soul affirmation. The I am the soul affirmation. Now this is taught extremely well in a video um, by Master Stephen Ko. Hey Jill, Adma Namaste. And if you go to pranichealing.com slash stream, there's probably about a hundred different videos on different topics on energy healing, meditation, practical spirituality, how you can use energy to improve each and every area of your life. Um, and then Master Ko is the senior instructor for the entire world of pranic healing. So if you're looking to go to the greatest source that's physically available, Right? I would recommend going to Master Ko, going to Master Cho's books, his CDs, and his workshops that are taught by the masters as well as taught by, um, as well as taught by certified instructors. Right? Very, very important. Right? You want to get as close to the source of energy and of power as possible to keep the purity. Right? It's kind of like if you had, um, if you had like a wire and you had um, a volt or what is it? Yeah, a current. Hey, Ada, Adma Namaste. You had, eight, um, you had a current going through the wire, the more pure the wire is, the more of the current goes through and the faster it goes through, right? So if, if you want the best information on a certain topic, you want to go to the source of that to you know, of the, the one who came up with that topic. That being said, so Master Cho came up with something called the I am the soul affirmation. The I am the soul affirmation, which is beautiful. And at the end of this quick talk, We'll do the I am the soul affirmation together as a group and see what you experience. But in essence, the I am the soul affirmation is helping you recognize what you are and what you are not. It's helping you recognize that you are a being of divine light, divine love, and divine power. Hey, Scott Atman Namaste. And you are not your thoughts, you're not your emotions, and you're not your physical body. The reason we suffer in this incarnation, meaning in a physical body, the reason we suffer is because we are over-identified with what we see and perceive. We're over-identified with our physical body, right? We're over-identified with our feelings, and we're over-identified with our thoughts. So how does that show up? Okay, check this out. So this is, this is a little experiment. Hopefully I get it right. If I don't, you can blame me. Anything that I do wrong is on my, on my back. 
everything that I say is correct is on my teacher's back, right? So if you are sitting upright in your chair right now, whether you're at home, at office, in a car, please don't be driving while you're listening to this. Um, what am I doing? I am moving the body. I am moving the body. If you take away the body, what's left? The I am, right? I am moving the body. If you take away the body, what's left? The I am, okay? Now, have a feeling of happiness. Really tap into it. <clears throat> feel happiness, feel joy. Maybe it was uh, an awesome car ride on the way to work this morning. Maybe you played hooky, you didn't go to work and you had a free day. Maybe it was uh, a happy moment of spending time with your kid or maybe petting your dog or your cat or maybe a beautiful sunset that you remember recently, right? Tap into a happy event. I am feeling happy. If you take away the feeling of happiness, what's left? The I am. Right? If you take away the feeling of happiness, what's left? I am. Right? Now, now we have a thought. So imagine in your right hand, hey Felipe, I'm a namaste. Imagine in your right hand you have a grainy Smith apple. Green, shiny, hard, sour, if you bite into it, right? Now, I am thinking of a thought of an apple. When you take away the thought of the apple, what's left? The I am. The I am is always left. So when you drop or leave the physical body, the I am is still left. When you no longer have feelings, the I am is still left. And when you no longer have thoughts, the I am is still, um, is still there. So it's recognizing we are the soul, we are eternal, we are immortal, we cannot be killed, destroyed, or, or manipulated. We are all permeating. I am the soul. The reason we suffer in life is because we over-identify with our body, with our emotions, and with our thoughts. Meaning, when somebody is upset, what do they say? They say, I am angry. So they're taking all of their tremendously powerful energy and focusing on, focusing it into a form of anger. So they're wrapped in or energetically entangled in that. So if you think you are anger, don't you think it would be kind of hard to have a peaceful day? Because you think you are that, but it's not what you are, it's simply a product of what your soul has created, of what your emotional body has created the soul through the soul. So for instance, you have a carpenter, if a carpenter builds a staircase, he has his tools, his nails, his hammer, he has the wood, none of that is my skill set, right? And he builds a staircase. Does the carpenter say, I am the staircase? No. The carpenter doesn't say, I am the staircase. The carpenter says, that is a product of what I created, right? There's a disassociation from the creator and what was created. So it's the same thing. You can alleviate your suffering like that if you disassociate yourself from the, that which is being created. So if you're having physical pain, you're like, um, if you're saying like, my, uh, my arm hurts, right? My arm hurts or my head hurts or there's pain all over me, right? That shrinks your connection to your divine self because you're identifying with a small form. You're identifying with the pain of the physical body versus my body is in pain, but I'm not the body. I'm the soul. I'm eternal. I'm immortal. I'm all expansive. Same thing with emotions. If you're having a bad day and you're stressed out or you're angry or you're upset, it's better to say, my emotions are upset. My emotions are angry. My emotions are... Um, jealous, my emotions are distraught. Because what you're doing is you're creating a separation and you're going, ah, I the soul, divine light, divine love, divine power, all creative, all powerful, is simply creating, an, is creating something that it doesn't want to experience. So you reconnect, you reconnect to what you are, okay? And then lastly, when you have thoughts, racing thoughts, worrisome thoughts, 
um, thoughts of confusion, thoughts of um, thoughts of um, thoughts that aren't serving you. You go, hey, wait a second. These thoughts are not mine. The thoughts of worry are not mine. Or it's not me. It's simply a product of what my soul is creating. I am not my thoughts. I am not my emotions. I am not my physical body. Does that make sense? So that's a that's um, the I am the soul affirmation or understanding. Hey, Joan, Adma Namaste. Krista, Adma Namaste. I'm glad you guys are having fun. Good to see you on here. So if you want to join in this process, we're going to do it right now. Elizabeth, what's up? You didn't know I had a beard? I mean, I've been growing out very long. It's only been, what, two and a half weeks? So guess what, guys? I am not my beard, right? The beard is a product of my physical body, and the physical body is a, is a product of the soul. So if I'm like, um, okay, here's an example. Some of us can dance and some of us can't dance. For those of us who can't dance, there's a level of embarrassment of like, I'm embarrassed because I can't dance. Not correct. You, as the soul, are not the embarrassment. The embarrassment is a product of what your soul has created. Uh, thanks, Krista. I'm glad you love beards. Do you? However you like it. Yeah. Rocking it out. Okay? So, I know you haven't been on here. I don't know what you're doing. So, you're having the feeling of embarrassment. Recognizing that you are the soul. You are not the embarrassment. You can move on and not be embarrassed. If you have fear coming up, you can recognize that I am not the fear. The fear is a product of what my soul created. I am the soul and you move on. Right? Again, you're a being of divine light, divine love, and divine power. So, now that I have your full attention, let us do the I am the soul affirmation as a group, collectively. Let's have a really powerful experience with one another. So we'll do a quick invocation. Can, uh, basically, if you're not driving, you can close your eyes and follow along verbally. If you are driving, please pull off to the side of the road and do it with us while you're not driving. <clears throat> to the Supreme God, Divine Father, Divine Mother, Invoke forever you're connected to, to my respected and beloved teacher, Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui, to his teacher, Lord Bodhisattva Mei Ling, to Lord Buddha Kuan Yin, to all the great, great ones, to the holy gurus, to the holy masters, saints, the archangels, holy angels, spirit helpers, to our divine selves, our higher souls. We humbly invoke for your divine light, divine love, divine power, for your help, guidance, and protection. We ask for clarity and wisdom of recognizing what we are, a being of light, love, and power, and what we are not, the physical body, emotional body, and mental body. We thank you. Thank you for providing us with right viewpoint. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you all. In full faith, so be it. So be it. So be it. Okay? So now, follow along silently, or you can do it verbally. It's up to you. <laughs> Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui's meditation, um, I am the soul, <laughs> I am the soul affirmation by Grandmaster Cho Kuk Sui. I am the soul. I am not the body. I am not the emotions. I am not the thoughts. I am not the mind. The mind is just a subtle instrument of the soul. 